Despite some recent rain we've seen, the National Weather Service says this summer is one of the driest starts to a year on record in most parts of Kern County. 23 ABC's Amanda Gomez joins us now in the studio with how local ranchers are coping with this extreme drought. Amanda? Jackie, droughts are nothing new to ranchers and farmers, but this year's drought is the worst one local rancher has ever seen. This year in the drought, we're actually seeing not just a lack of water, but a lack of feed in total. And uh, the year stacking up a drought years back to back has really hit us hard. And there's just no water out there for the cattle. Ranchers like Jack Lavers depend on Mother Nature to get them through the summer. But this year, Mother Nature hasn't been very helpful. In fact, Kern County has had back to back winters of below average rainfall. We're looking at having to try to find new springs, fix springs up that are, have started to dry up. But there's just not a lot you can do when, when the spring dries up. Um, Guys are drilling wells like crazy throughout this country, but you know, you're not guaranteed to hit water. No water means dry grass, and Laver says the price of hay is also going up. So they're looking for other commodities that they can feed, carrots, potatoes, onions, garlic, whatever you can find, they're gonna try to feed that. But most of us, what we're doing is because we can't afford that financial hit, are selling the cattle ahead of time and, and making it so our grass stretches out farther. But while the ranchers are being hit the hardest, Richard Diamond with the North Kern Water Storage District says farmers in the valley are also feeling the effects of the drought. It would be good if the public was aware that the farming community has is, is been challenged by the water situation and uh, obviously we're always hoping for better uh, rain and snow this year to make things a little easier on everybody, but the, the impact is probably countywide because of the, uh, the importance of agriculture to the economy. So it's hard times all around for those in ag. Meantime, for consumers, beef prices won't budge. They're already at an all-time high because of a cattle shortage in the U.S.